Hi, and welcome to my Linux Bash shell scripting tutorial. In this video, we will cover the if-else blocks. For this demo, I'm using a CentOS virtual machine, but this will work for any Unix, Linux-based system, even Mac OS, as long as it has Bash installed, which it will by default. So in order for a script to be very useful, you will need the ability to test the condition of variables. Most programming languages have some sort of if-else expression, and so does Bash. Now, unlike most other languages, when using an if in a shell script, the spacing is very important. Let's do a simple shell script that will ask a user for a password before allowing him to continue. This will obviously not be a good way to implement security, but it will make a good example of using if and else statements. First, we'll create a file called test.sh. So we'll add the uh, necessary shebang at the top of the file, and let's add a comment here. Um, secret pass. Secret pass. So we want to create a variable that has our valid password. So we will call this variable valid pass and set it equal to our password, which we'll make secret. Next, we will prompt the user to enter a password for the script and store it in the variable input bw. So let's echo out some test text here. Please enter the password. We will use the read command to read the input password for the user. Now we want to assure that they entered the password correctly before continuing on. So here is where we use the if statement. Remember that spacing is important here for the code to work correctly. So we type if, open bracket, and in quotes we will place the valid pass variable next equal equal, which means is equal to, followed by again in quotes the input pw variable, which may or may not contain the, the correct password, and finish it up with the close bracket semicolon then. Now hit enter and we can start our if block. So essentially the code here will execute if the above statement is true. So let's echo out the text success. If the user did not enter the correct password, we will handle that by using the elf, else block. So now type else, followed by the commands you want to use in the else block. Here we will just echo the text access denied. denied. Finally, we will close up the if block by using the fi statement, which is just if spelled backwards. So I'm going to save this file it runnable. I'm assuming you already know how to make your script runnable. If not, you can check out the intro tutorial. Now let's run the test.sh script. And first we will enter some invalid password. So let's use the text wrong. And you can see it properly prints out the access denied message. Now let's run it again and enter the text secret. And success is printed out so we can see that it works properly. We can also do these statements on the command line. For instance, let's do a simple comparison and echo the text yes if it passes. I'll just do a quick check to see if the variable bar is equal to the text hello. see that first at the first time it doesn't print out anything. That's because we haven't set up the variable var yet to point to anything yet. So let's set the variable var to the text hello. And we can run it again. And we see it prints out yes. 
you'll notice that this time when I used the up arrow in the history, it actually put the whole if statement on one line. And that's fine as long as you use semicolons for separators. There are also several integer comparisons. I'll do just a couple of them to sh in the show for a demo. For a full list, see the tutorial page linked in the comments. We'll start by creating a variable n and setting it to 5. Now do a quick if expression, just like we did previously, but this time we will use dash eq to compare the variable with the number 7. If darn n dash eq 7, then echo yes, f5. And we'll see that it didn't print anything out. That's because obviously 5 is not equal to 7. So let's run it again and compare to 5. And we see yes, it prints out. You can also use a couple other ones. Um, dash LT is less than. So if n is dash LT 7, then yes, it prints out. And dash GT, likewise for greater than. And you can see it prints out yes. The if block can also be nested, meaning that you can have if blocks within if blocks. To show an example of that, we will create a simple shell script which reads in our username and age and stores it into a file if it doesn't exist, or reads from the file if it does exist. I'm going to reuse the same test.sh file here. Just delete some stuff and and first we'll prompt for a username please enter your name read in the variable using the variable username and now we're going to check to see if the file with username dot dat exists and for that we will use that the dash s command in the if statement. So if dot dollar username dot dat then we'll set the age variable equal to cat username dot dat and echo you are age years old. That's what we're going to do if the file already exists. But of course, we're starting off, the file does not exist, so we need to create it. So first we will echo out the text. How old are you? And we will read in age. Now we will do a comparison, just to try out a couple different things here. If dollar age dash le is less than two. Let's say if you're less than two years old, then you're just too young to play. So echo out, you are too young. And now we can use another different form of if and else here using l if, e l i f. That's if the first doesn't pass, we will run this check as well. So l if age greater than 100, then let's say if you're over 100, you are too old. And finally, we can cover the last bit by using the elves, else, just the regular else block. <clears throat> and here what we're going to do is just echo out dollar age and redirect it to the file username.dat. And of course, we close this with fi and close the outer one with fi. So let's save this and run it a couple times. So first, we're going to run test.sh. Say the username is Steve. How old are you? We'll say Steve is 20. So now, if we run this command again and we enter your name, Steve, you are 20 years old. 
because it read it from the file, which you will see here, steve.dat, which has the contents 20. So now let's run the file again, but use a couple different parameters to play around with our if-else statements. So let's say a new name, John. And we'll say John is only one year old. It says you're too young. And you'll see there's no file john.dat was created. So let's run it again and say John and say he's 102. You're too old. You can see that it hits the else block as well. That's all for now. If you want to learn a little more, please visit the tutorial link in the comments. If you appreciate this video, please like and subscribe. I will be posting more shell scripting videos soon.